All right, the identity matrix. Now, the identity matrix is a concept that you really should try to understand rather than memorize because it is basically the fundamentals to all these matrix questions. So if you don't know how to do the identity matrix and fully understand it, it can get really confusing as you move on and dive deeper into matrices. So I highly encourage you guys to watch this video fully to actually grasp uh, what a good understanding on identity matrices. Okay, before actually explaining what the identity matrix is, let me just ex make an example. Five times one is five. Seven times one is seven. One thousand times one is one thousand. A times one is A. Notice anything? Whatever you multiply, whatever your original number is, if you multiply by one, you get your original number, right? That's called the identity element. Let's try addition. 5 plus something is going to make 5. 7 plus something is going to make 7. 1,000 plus something is going to make 1,000. And A plus something is going to make A. What is this number? 0, right? Whatever you add, whatever your original number is, if you add 0 to it, it's still going to give you your original number. 0 is the identity element for addition, and 1 is the identity element for multiplication. Then what about matrices? What is the identity matrix for matrices? Well, let's, let's find out. Let's say we have a matrix um, 4, 2, 1, 3. And you're going to multiply that by A, B, C, D, all of which are unknowns. And we need to make the final answer B, 4, 2, 1, 3, the same one that we started with. What is the ident identity matrix? This one here. Okay, let's find out how we can calculate this. 4a plus 2c. That's going to be our top left. 4b plus 2d. That's going to be our second one. a plus 3c, third one. And b plus 3d, our last one. Now, what do we have here? Well, this is actually really useful because we can do something called, sim we can use this thing called simultaneous, I can't spell, equations to get rid of a variable and to calculate. This is actually basically just algebra. We have 4a, we can't do anything with this, right? Because we don't have any variables that are the same, so it won't work. But if we split it like this, 4a plus 2c and a plus 3c, that does give us something that we can work with, right? Because we have variables that are the same. So we can make an equation called 4a plus 2c. That's our top left number, right? And that number is going to equal 4 because it has to give us the same matrix that we started with. So that's going to equal 4. A plus 3C. This has to equal 1, bottom left number, right? And it has to be the same that we started with. And then we can multiply the bottom one by 4 to give us 4A plus 12C equals 4. We get rid of this. And we can minus these two equations to get rid of the A's. 4A minus 4A is going to be 0. Minus 12C plus 2C is going to give us minus 10C equals 4 minus 4, which is 0, right? And then we can divide both sides by 10, and 0 divided by 10 is still going to give us 0. So C is going to be 0. A, B, C. The bottom left number is 0. Let's slowly fill that in together. I shall do, continue that on the next page. Anyways, C is 0. Now we can substitute C is 0 into our original equation to find out A. 4A plus 2 times 0, which is going to be 0, is 4. So 4a equals 4, because 2 times 0 is 0. So a is 4 divided by 4, which is 1. Top left number is 1. Let me start a new page. If we slowly fill this in together. From before, remember, c is 0 and a is 1. So we have a, b, c, d. And c is 0. We just calculated it. And A is 1. 
So we have two of the numbers filled in. Let's look at the equations that we've calculated before. We have 4b plus 2d. And b plus 3d. All right. We can multiply the bottom one by 4, right? That gives us 4b plus 12d. And what are each of these equations supposed to equal? 4b plus 2d should equal 2. And b plus 3d should equal 3. And don't forget to multiply the 3 by 4 as well, so 12. We can get rid of that now. And we can minus this to get rid of b. That gives us 4b minus 4b is 0, right? 12d mi minus 2d. 12d plus 2d. Minus 12d plus 2d should give us minus 10d equals 10. So d is going to be 1. My minus 10d. Minus 12 plus 2. Yeah, so d should be min minus 12 plus 2 should give us minus 10. So d should be 1. Okay, now we substitute this d into here. So 4b plus 2 times 1 equals 2 which is 4b plus 2 is equal to 2. And we can minus 2 from both sides to give us 0 equals 4b. And whatever you divide by 0 is going to be 0 still. So b is 0. So d is 1 and b equals 0. So d, 1, b is 0. The identity matrix is 1, 0, 0, 1. That is how you calculate the identity matrix. Some of you might just want to memorize it, but I highly recommend at least keeping this method in mind just in case you ever forget it because it's really easy. Let's just confirm this identity matrix works, right? So let's get a random number, 7, 4, 5, 2, multiplied by 1, 0, 0, 1. Notice how this is different to the one that we started with, 4, 2, 1, 3. Totally different mat matrix. Let's see if it gives us the same matrix answer. 5 times 7 times 1 gives us 7, plus 4 times 0 gives us 0, 7 times 0 is 0, 4 times 1 is 4, 5 times 1 is 5, 2 times 0 is 0, 5 times 0 is 0, 2 times 1 is 2. Simplify 7, 4, 5, 2. Same matrix, right? Same. Now, you know that method that we just used with like 4, 2, 1, 3 multiplied by A, B, C, D? It doesn't matter what matrix this is. Any matrix works. You can just multiply whatever matrix by ABCD to calculate the identity matrix. All right. So now we know that the identity matrix is 1, 0, 0, 1. So in summary, the identity matrix is the number you need to output the same number, right? For multiplication, it's 1. For addition, it's 0. And for matrices, it's 1, 0, 0, 1. That is the identity matrix. Now, we, writ we write the identity matrix as I, capital I is equal to 1, 0, 0, 1. And we also need to understand that AI is equal to IA, which is equal to A. What does this mean? A is a matrix, and I is the identity matrix, right? So whatever, so usually with matrices, the order matters, right? Usually with matrices, the order matters. So whatever, if you have matrix multiplication, the order you do the multiplication changes the answer. But with identity matrix, whatever your identity matrix, whatever your original number is, it doesn't matter. Even if you multiply 1, 0, 0, 1 by 5, 1, 7, 1. So the identity matrix came first this time, right? Let's see if we get the same answer still. 5 plus 0. 1 times 5 is 5. 0 times 7 is 0. 1 times 1 is 1, 0 times 1 is 0, 0 times 5 is 0, 7 times 1 is 7, 0 times 1 is 0, 1 times 1 is 1. Simplified, 5, 1, 7, 1. Same one, right? So AI is equal to IA, which is A, the original number. So the order doesn't matter with the identity matrix. So if the identity matrix is 1, 0, 0, 1, 3I is going to be 3 times the original mat identity matrix, which is going to be 3, 0, 0, 1. Remember, 0 times whatever number it is still makes 0. Then k, where k is a random number, multiplied by the identity matrix, is going to give us k, 0, 0, 1. Because remember, even if k is 1 billion, it'll still make 0. Okay, so I just noticed this during editing, but I, I think I made a mistake in my 3i and ki uh, identity matrix. So the identity matrix is 1, 0, 0, 1, right? 
So 3i should be 3, 0, 0, 3, because 3 multiplies with all the 1s. I only did it here. I think my brain just blanked out. So this should be 3 as well. And ki should be k, 0, 0, k. Where k should also multiply with the bottom right one as well, right? Because it's not 0. I think my, 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 my brain just blanked out. But many of you guys probably already nailed this. But anyways, 3i should be 3, 0, 0, 3. And ki should be k, 0, 0, k. If k was 4, 3, 2 multiplied by i, it'll still give us 4, 3, 2, 0, 0, 4, 3, 2. 0 times 4, 3, 2 will still make 0. Do you notice the pattern now? Whatever you multiply by the in front of the identity matrix will change the top left and bottom right values of the identity matrix. Let's try a question on this now. M is 4, 8, minus 2, and 4. And N is 2, A, 1, and B. MN is equal to KI. K is simply an element in the identity matrix, right? And I is the identity matrix. So MN multiplied by together is going to be equal to K multiplied by the identity matrix. So we have to find K, A, and B. First of all, we need to multiply MN together. 4, 8, minus 2, 4. Multiplied by 2, A, 1, B. 4 times 2 is 8. Plus 8. 8 times 1 is 8. 4 times A is 4A. Plus 8B. Minus 2 times 2 is minus 4, plus 4. Minus 2 times A is minus 2A, plus 4B. Simplify, we get 16, 4A plus 8B. Minus 4 plus 4 gives us 0, and minus 2A plus 4B. That is MN. And MN is now equal, this matrix is equal to KI, which is equal to K, 0, 0, K, which we just did. Now, how do we solve it? Well, we do the substitution method that we just did. So we know that 16 is K, right? Because same location. If k is 16, that means minus 2a plus 4b. You see, notice this one. This also has to equal k. Minus 2a plus 4b is equal to 16. Now, this doesn't really help us. But we can also use this equation together. 4a plus 8b is 0 in order to calculate it together. 4a plus 8b equals 0. We can multiply the bottom matrix by 2 to give us minus 4a plus 8b is equal to 32. And if we minus the, these equations, remember we can ignore this one now, 4a plus 8b equals 0, minus 4a plus 8b equals 32. Sorry, I'm running out of space, but I'll try. 4a minus minus 4a makes a positive, right? Minus and a minus. So that's going to give us 8a plus 8b minus 8b is going to give us nothing. They're going to cancel each other out. And 0 minus 32 is going to equal minus 32. a is equal to minus 4. 8a is minus 32. So we divide minus 32 by 8. That gives us minus 4. So now we have k is 16. And A is minus 4. We only need to calculate B now. We can just substitute A is minus 4 into the original equation. 4A plus 8B equals 0. We substitute minus 4 in. 4A times minus 4 is going to give us minus 16 plus 8B is equal to 0. If we add 16 to both sides, that gives us 16 equals 8B. So B divide 8 on both sides gives us 2. Final answer, A is minus 4. K is 16 and B is 2. 
And I hope that sort of explains the identity matrix a little bit. In the next video, I'll dive into some more harder identity matrix questions, and hopefully you guys can have a solid understanding of what the identity matrix is now. Remember, just to recap, identity matrix is what you multiply to the original matrix to still have the same original matrix that you started with. And to calculate it, you just add A, B, C, D, and you solve it like you would with any other matrix. And what does that get us? That gives us the identity matrix of 1, 0, 0, 1, where I is 1, 0, 0, 1. I hope this helps. If this helped you guys, please do subscribe, share it with your friends, and give a like. Thanks for watching. Stu Plaint.